Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem number 62 taken from chapter number 9, Stress Transformation, the book of Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. In this problem we are being given with a wood material that is being subjected to the tensile force of 250 Newton. We are being asked to determine the normal and shear stresses that act perpendicular and parallel to the grains and those grains make an angle of 20 degree with the horizontal. So let's solve this problem. Since the grains make an angle of 20 degree, let's consider a element which is horizontal element like the one which is shown in this picture. Now taking this element and determining the stresses that accept this element, we are being given with uh, the 250 Newton force and we are being given with the dimensions so we can calculate the normal stress then. So normal stress acting on this element would be force over area so 250 divided by area which will be 25 multiplied by 60 so when you do the calculations it will be 166.67 kPa since these are in millimeters so first this should be converted into meters in order to have the unit of Pascal so therefore this element is being subjected to tensile stress of 166.67 kPa. It should be applied on both sides in order to have the equilibrium. Now as we have to determine the stress at the angle of 20 degree, it means first we need to know the state of stress with the help of Mohr circle. Let's draw the Mohr circle. So in order to draw the Mohr circle, we should be knowing the two points. First point will be from this plane and another will be from this plane. Since on this plane we have normal stress only, so the point will be 166.67, no shear, so zero value. And on this plane there is no normal, no shear, so zero, zero. Now let's plot these two values on Mohr circle. Considering this grid, these are the axes. This is normal stress axis. This is shear stress axis. Considering one unit of this grid equal to 20 kPa, so then units will be around 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and somewhere around 8. So this will be first point. Second point is 0, 0, hands on no region. So once we have the two points, then we can draw the more circle. So this will be the Mohr circle then. Now this is state of stress has been shown on this Mohr circle. Now we have to determine the state of stress on the grains of wood which have an angle of 20 degree with the horizontal. This means this element will be rotated by an angle of 20 degree clockwise. This will be the rotated element then making an angle of 20 degree with the horizontal. So for the determination of the stresses on any unknown orientation First we need to know the basics of the Mohr circle like we need to know the center of the Mohr circle and also its radius. So center will be somewhere over here but we need to determine its value. So this value can be easily determined by adding the normal stresses and then dividing by 2 or taking the average of the normal stresses. So one normal stress at this point is actually 0. The other is 166.67. So average of this will be 83.33. Now this value will also be equal to its radius. Since this is the distance from the exterior end of the Mohr circle to the center of the Mohr circle. Now moving further for the determination of the normal stresses at this element. So if this is rotated by 20 degree on actual. So on Mohr circle it will be doubled. So it will actually be 40 degree on the Mohr circle. And it is rotated clockwise. So on Mohr circle the rotation will also be clockwise. Now on Mohr circle this shows the state of stress of this plane and and this plane shows the state of stress on this side or this plane. So we want to know the state of stress parallel to the grain of the wood means on this side on rotating this element it will be actually on this side. So therefore this side on more circle will be rotated by 40 degree then. So this is the plane where we want to determine the normal and shear stresses. These two points are unknown and we want to determine these two and these will be the normal stress and shear stress perpendicular and parallel to the grain. Since radius is 83.33 therefore this distance will also be 83.33 because this will also be the radius 
the distance from center to the exterior point on Mohs circle. Now normal stress can be projected over here. It means we want to determine this distance. So taking this right angle triangle, where if we determine this this distance, then this distance can be determined by subtracting from the radius. So this side of the right angle triangle will be calculated as cos 40 degree equal to the unknown side. Let's say x divide by the radius hypotenuse actually. So on doing calculations, we are going to get the value of x as 63.8. 3. Now this unknown distance which is actually the normal stress at this plane will be calculated as let's say sigma dash 83.33 minus the x distance which is 63.83. So on doing calculations it will be 19.5 kPa as the normal stress on this plane. So on this plane the perpendicular stress or you can say normal stress is 19.5 MPa. Now we need to determine the parallel stress as well or shear stress as well. So shear stress is actually the perpendicular of this right angle triangle. So let's say this is y then or you can say the shear stress tau xy dash. So this will be calculated as using sine theta formula sine 40. Perpendicular here is y. Hypotenuse is 83.33. So from here we will have the value of y as 53.33. 6 kPa. So shear stress is 53.6 kPa. Considering the shear stress acting at this is clockwise because it came out to be positive 53.6 kPa. Now you can see that the orientation of grain is same as that of this element. Therefore the stress perpendicular to this is 19.5 kPa actually and the stress parallel to this is 53.6 kPa. That's what it is being asked in this problem. So this is all from this uh, video where we have learned how to calculate the normal and shear stress on a plane which is actually showing the grains of the wood when the wood is being subjected to an axial tensile load of 250 Newton. That's all from this video. Thank you for watching this video.